right, all right, all right, YouTubes. We got the Testo 552i vacuum gauge. We're gonna test it out. Now the app I'm gonna use, I'm not gonna click on my Smart Probe app. I'm actually gonna click on to Testo Smart. Okay, let's turn the, the probe on. And we'll see if she links up here. Probably should have turned the probe on first. There we go. We are linked up. Value above measuring range. Because we're open, we got live graphic table. Let's see if I can uh, put the iPad. I will put the iPad up like this. Maybe we can see it better. Let's go to live readings. Go to basic view. We'll, let's get out of basic view. And I think there's one measurements. There's one for evacuation right here. Do you want to exit the measurements reading? Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Select the probe. I'm selecting my probe. All right, here we go. See, oh well, yeah, we could zoom up, make it bigger. Look at that. Let's uh, I got clean oil in a Navac here. This is the Navac 2 CFM battery operated vacuum pump. Should be good for this test. We'll go ahead and open up this one. Make sure this one's closed. We'll open up that side. Let's see what this little pump can do. And we got our gauge hooked up. We've got contact. Let's go ahead and fire it off. Wow, look at that, sucked right down. Look at her go. That is a good vacuum pump. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Pulling by itself, that's what we're looking for, right? So also at the bottom of this app is the start button. Let's go ahead and hit that and look at all this that comes up. Evapor evaporation temperature H2O minus 58 delta value air to TH2O 127.6 and there is a deviation on here look at this deviation and a minimum value 25 microns that's where we're at right now now we're at 24 microns this is pretty cool man for it so I think this probe is 160 bucks 169 dollars for micron gauge and you get this cool app now if i'm going to do the deviation after we let it run for it look at the little navac 22 microns between 23 and 22 that's impressive this little thing these guys they they do build really good vacuum pumps navac does look at this little guy that's that's about as far as i'm going to get with this thing um Wow, is that thing working out? Excellent. Let's try the graph. There's a graph feature right here. Look at that. And then we're leveling off right here at our 22 or 23 microns. It also has our deviation up there. Evaporation temperature. Microns and the minimum microns. It's, you know, it's hovering between 22 and 24. And then there's also a table you can get here that'll print out tables and times. That graph was that graph is pretty nice. And then these figures up here are also down here on the graph. Let's go back to the live. So now I'm back up to 25 microns. My minimum, the lowest it got was 22. I'm riding at 25, 26. So what happens if I go like this and I close the valve right here? Would that give us our deviation test? Let's see. I'm not sure if that leaks. Yeah, it must leak by. I thought it would valve off right there. But maybe my valve's no good. That's my setup right there. So I close the valve off. Let's 
stop the pump and you can see my the ball valve on my vacuum pump looks like it leaks by for sure and here comes our deviation So that's, that's like a quick overview of this little vacuum gauge. I gotta get it on, a, I gotta get it on a system and try it. But just for right here, do you watch this? Let's crank it back on. We'll open our valve. Watch our microns come down. Pretty neat. Let's see what the basic view looks like. There's your much. You go basic view for just for your probe. Yeah, if you go basic view, it just tells you your probe and then your microns. You can edit the view. You can change your settings. You can zoom in. You can make it big. You can make it small with your fingers. If you're blind like me, that looks good. Let's uh, let's take it back to the evacuation feature. You can blow that up too. And then you can hit start with all these pressures and you can zoom that up to take up your whole page. Look at that. You can make it all big. It's pretty neat. Um, we'll have to see how this holds up and everything, but for 169 bucks, looks like I got a new micron gauge or vacuum gauge. I got myself a new vacuum gauge. Sweet. Thought I'd share that with you guys, a quick one. I got to get it out on a system and test it out and uh, see how it goes. I'm wondering if, uh, oh, I got one more thing to show you guys too. It takes just a regular gasket in here and I want to show you guys that. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll break this. Um, regular gasket that you can change out with your uh, hoses or whatnot. Standard refrigeration gasket. So I think that's pretty nice. Bam, Micron Gage Titus right here. Very, very interesting. 